Have you ever wondered how to know if your heart is healthy or not? Your body has a special way of telling you when something's wrong with your heart. Cardiovascular disease is a big problem worldwide, causing more deaths than anything else and being a major health threat. In this video, we'll talk about 6 surprising signs that your heart might be in trouble even if you feel okay. It's important information that could save lives, so please like and share the video if you find it helpful. Let's spread this important knowledge together. Make sure to stay until the end where we'll reveal some game-changing tips on how to keep your heart tiptoe shape. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Sign number 1. Ulcers Non-healing sores on your legs or feet could be a sign that your circulation is compromised. These ulcers often develop when there's blockage in the arteries, leading to low blood flow in the affected area. If you have poor circulation, walking may become difficult and your legs may feel tired, sore, or cramped. Arterial ulcers found on the outer leg, heels, or toes can be painful, but nerve damage may make the discomfort less noticeable. Venous ulcers, more common in those with varicose veins or venous thrombosis, appear on the inner leg and tend to bleed. Don't ignore non-healing wounds on your legs or feet. They're a clear signal that your circulation needs attention. Seek medical help to address the underlying issues and prevent the sores from worsening. Listen to your body's warning and take action to keep your circulatory system healthy. Symptom number 2. Swollen legs, feet, and ankles. Picture this. You slip on your favorite shoes only to find that they feel uncomfortably snug. You glance down and notice that your feet and ankles have swollen up like balloons. While it may be tempting to brush it off as a simple annoyance, this swelling could be a crucial warning sign that your heart is struggling to pump blood efficiently throughout your body. When your heart isn't pumping blood as it should, it can trigger a domino effect of worrisome symptoms. One of the most noticeable is swelling in your feet and ankles caused by slow blood flow leading to a backup in your veins. As blood pools in your lower extremities, fluid seeps into surrounding tissues resulting in puffiness and bloating. But the problem doesn't stop there. A weakened heart can also make it harder for your kidneys to filter out excess water and sodium from your body. As these substances accumulate, they contribute to even more swelling leaving you feeling uncomfortable and weighed down. Symptom number 3. Santilasma Have you ever caught a glimpse of someone's eyes and noticed a curious yellow patch on their upper eyelid? This seemingly harmless cosmetic quirk is called Santilasma and while it may not cause any pain or discomfort, it could be a subtle hint that your heart health needs attention. Santilasma is the most common type of Santoma which are essentially cholesterol deposits that accumulate in the skin. These yellow plaques tend to appear gradually, most often in the inner corner of the upper eyelid, and are more frequently seen in middle-aged women. While Santilasma itself is usually just a cosmetic concern, it's what lies beneath the surface that matters. Approximately half of the people who develop Santilasma have an underlying condition called dyslipidemia, which means they have elevated levels of cholesterol or triglycerides in their blood. Interestingly, only a small fraction of people with high cholesterol actually develop Santilasma. However, researchers have discovered that the presence of these yellow patches is linked to a heightened risk of serious heart problems including heart disease, heart attacks, and strokes. So if you happen to notice Santilasma on your own eyelids or someone else's, don't brush it off as a mere cosmetic issue. Instead, take it as a cue to get your blood tested and your cholesterol and triglyceride levels checked. Symptom number 4 hair loss on legs and feet. If you've noticed a thinning hair on your chins and thighs, don't dismiss it as a mere cosmetic issue. It could be a warning sign of peripheral arterial disease or PAD, a condition where your leg arteries become clogged with plague. PAD is a part of a larger problem called atherosclerosis which can affect arteries throughout your body including those supplying blood to your heart. Many people with PAD don't realize they have it until significant damage has occurred. Hair loss happens because clogged arteries can't deliver enough nutrients and oxygen to hair follicles. You might also notice smoother, shinier skin, cold legs, and slower nail growth. While genetics and friction from clothing can also cause leg hair loss, it's essential to talk to your doctor about circulatory health if you notice this symptom. Catching and treating PAD early can help protect your legs and heart. Your body sends signals when something is wrong. Learning to recognize these warnings can help you take control of your health. If you spot concerning changes in your leg hair, seek medical advice promptly. 
Symptom number five, chest pain. When you feel discomfort in your chest, don't brush it off as something minor. While not all chest pain is heart-related, it's crucial to rule out any cardiac issues first. Heart-related chest pain often feels like pressure, heaviness, tightness, or burning that lasts more than a few minutes. It may come and go and it might radiate to your left arm, neck, back, jaw, stomach, or elbows. You may also experience sweating, paleness, nausea, or dizziness. Your heart is your most vital organ. Recognizing signs of trouble and acting quickly can make all the difference. If chest pain strikes, don't hesitate. See a doctor right away. Your heart and your loved ones will thank you. Don't let a fear of overacting stop you from getting help. Every minute counts when it comes to heart problems. Lastly, symptom number 6, cyanosis. If your skin turns blue or purple, it could be more than just sign of being cold. This condition, called cyanosis, may indicate a serious problem with your heart or lungs. When a part of your body isn't getting enough oxygen-rich blood, it can take on bluish or purplish hue. This could be due to block artery or a lung issue like pneumonia, pulmonary embolism, or heart failure. Shortness of breath along with cyanosis is a red flag for a lung problem. Congenital heart defects can also cause the skin discoloration. If you notice cyanosis, especially when you're warm, don't ignore it. This could be a warning sign that your body isn't getting the oxygen it needs. Seek medical attention to identify and address the underlying cause. Preventive measures for healthy heart include staying active with regular physical activity like brisk walking, swimming, or cycling to keep your heart strong and improve circulation. Quitting smoking is crucial since smoking is a significant risk factor for heart disease. Maintain a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise, focusing on consuming plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats while limiting processed foods and saturated fats. Know your family history of heart disease and be proactive about screening and lifestyle changes to reduce your risk. Monitor your cholesterol levels regularly and work with your doctor to keep them within a healthy range. Control blood sugar levels if you have diabetes or pre-diabetes. Managing blood pressure is also important to prevent heart damage over time. If you notice any signs or symptoms we've discussed or have a family history of heart disease, don't hesitate to consult with your doctor. Early detection and intervention can make a significant difference in your heart health outcomes. We hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you found value in this content, please like and share with your friends and family to spread awareness and encourage prioritizing heart health. Subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell to never miss out on our future informative videos. Thanks for watching, take care of your heart, and until next time.